Hello sir, Hi there. my name is Charles Wood, I'm one of the final year medical students in the hospital and I've just been asked to come and take some of your blood today if that's alright. That's fine, yeah. Um, have you ever had this done before? Um, I have done, yeah. Okay, so as I'm sure you know, it'll just involve me attaching a, a tight band around your arm and there'll be a sharp scratch while I take some blood, uh, but it shouldn't be painful at all and if it is, let me know and we'll stop whatever it okay, is that we're doing. Fine. thank you. Um, and do you mind if I talk loud to my colleagues as we go? Please do. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm just going to start off, uh, I've checked the patients uh, happy with the procedure, but I'm just going to confirm their identity as well. So would I just be able to ask your full name please sir? Uh, it's Tom Sutton. And could I just check your date of birth as well? 26th of the 1st, 1889. And are you allergic to any medications at all that you no. know about? No. Okay, thank you very much. So I'm just going to gather some of my equipment if that's alright. Um, so I'm going to start off by cleansing my hands with alcohol gel. And then I'll take uh, my tray and tourniquet some alcohol wipes, some gauze, a vacutainer needle and a vacutainer holder, and then my three vacutainers. And then I'll put some gloves on as well. So if you're ready, Mr. Searle, I'll just give you this uh, cushion. It'll oh, be a little bit more comfortable for you to rest your arm on. That's great. And if you just rest that down. Is this arm okay to take blood? That's fine, yeah. Okay. So as well as making the patient more comfortable, the cushion will also help keep the arm nice and still and let you get a good angle at which to take blood from. And I'm just going to attach this uh, band tourniquet around your arm now, if that's okay. Sure. Again, it might be a little uncomfortable. And then if you just rest your arm down, I'm just going to look at some veins. Okay. Um, would I be able to just get you to make a fist with your hand for me and just pump like that? That's perfect. Okay, that's great. And relax. I'm just going to have a... It's important to have a look for veins, but also to feel the veins to see if they rise from the surface, then they're obviously more likely to be successful. So I can see and feel a very nice vein here in the antecubital fossa. So I'm just going to clean with some alcohol if that's alright. So a single clean, making sure you don't go over the same area as appropriate. And I'm just going to leave that for approximately 30 seconds. And during this time I can assemble my vacutainer needle and holder. So if you're ready, I'm just going to put the needle in. You'll feel a sharp scratch. It shouldn't be painful. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the vacutainer begins to fill with blood, and with the blue one, it's particularly important that it's filled right to the top. Next comes the gold or yellow top. And then just one more now, sir. So once you've taken all three, you can remove the tourniquet, take your gauze, and place it over the area, removing the needle slowly. And it's very important at this stage to sheath the needle and to place the needle into your sharp spit. Okay, so was that, was that all right? Do you have any, any questions for me at all about that? No, no, no. Would I just be able to get you to hold this down for a second? I'm just going to dispose of some of this equipment and at this stage, it's good to get some tape to hold down the gauze for the patient. Uh, make sure your vacutainer bottles are properly labelled with the patient's information and uh, also your information. And dispose of your tray. And once these have been properly filed, it's important to remove your gloves and cleanse your hands a final time.